Okay, today I'm going to do a very quick presentation on using uh, the Unix tool we get to download a lot of web pages or documents that are on the web uh, very quickly, very easily. Um, instead of having to go to a web page and uh, do what I'm going to show right now, yeah, I'm going to use this place as a um, I'm going to use the Salem Deed site as a place to demonstrate what this will prevent you from doing. Uh, where is the historical deeds? There's historical records. Here's the restoration project I've got. Let's say if I just want to go to book one, page one, I could show it and I could look at that page of the um, original Salem Deeds when the people first arrived in Salem in 16. 20 through 40 or something like that. Let me open this one up. So here you go. There's the very first one. 28th October 1641. They have all these up there and they have them in such a way that they're uh, shown as a file being called 00 you know, four digit number dot tiff. Now let's say you're looking for your ancestor in the deeds and you're not quite sure if it's indexed right or maybe they miss the index or you just want to look at the original D you just want to get the whole thing you don't it's kind of hard to figure out where is what and you just want to get the whole set okay so I'll tell you a few things about the whole situation at the Salem Deeds uh, as far as I know there are four books and I think each book is 750 pages big if I remember right um, Okay, so this is what I've done. I've gone in, just start this way. Uh, I've gone into my home directory, I've created a, a subdirectory called Salem Deeds, and I've placed four different folders in there called Book One, Book Two, Book Three, and Book Four. And I'm not gonna do as fancy as I wanted to, but it's okay, I'm not gonna spend my life on this. This right here is a script that I made, and I'll show you how to make it. And when you make it, you have to be very careful about the spacing and everything. Otherwise, it won't work. So let me just show you what it is. And uh, basically, at the top, you put. Let me see if I can make sure I'm actually getting this thing. If my view, no, I'm getting nothing. Isn't that lovely? Okay, here we go. Okay, I'll put this to the left. Put this to the right, and so I can actually see. Okay, here we go. Um, top, put a. Uh, pound sign, exclamation point, bin bash, this is with the Linux by the way, and what I do is I set, I set two different variables here. The first variable is the page variable, and it's going to serve to insert the page number of, of the, the document. And my point over here was, you can see how tedious they can be. If I wanted to save all of these, I'd have to go into um, all four books, and each page I'd have to right-click, save the link as, pick my folder, or if it decided to, if that's where I wanted it, and hit save, wait for it, close that, and the next one's done, right-click, save, you know, you're going to take a long time to do that. And genealogists uh, have a big job. You know, you have the, half the battle in genealogy is gathering the information. It's not um, not so much. Um, so time is really your enemy in genealogy. In some cases, in, the, in this situation, you may want to get the whole range. And I'll show you how to do it very quickly and easily. Okay, so I first set two variables here. The first variable is the page variable. This is out of focus for. And I set that to zero. And I set the book variable to one. So this is gonna and you can see where I got a dollar book here. God, this is horrible focus. Um, the dollar book I don't know if I could mess with this. That seems to help. That's, whoa, that's pretty good. <laughs> you can actually see that. Okay. 
good. Okay, so I adjusted my sharpness. I should have ever done that in Linux. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm setting this dollar book variable. You can still barely see. I wonder if I can get better sharpness on this. my script. There we go. That's probably pretty good. That says dollar book right there that I've just highlighted. Okay, so what that's going to do is that's going to, instead of displaying 0000 dollar book, it's going to put a 1 there. And notice that. Now this it isn't apparent as to where you're actually getting this thing, but um, if you look at, if you copy the link location, paste that in you can see that's where it's going to now this this dollar five C is just there for Windows purposes it really doesn't mean anything it's just so it has a space I happen to know from doing what I usually do that it is historic and when you download that's how you download it okay so we've got a we'll get expression but in general, what you got, God, I can't see this. Okay, let's back up a bit. Okay, so I set my page to zero. I'm saying the while page, that variable there, is less than nine, add one to the variable page, and then insert the one right there. Of course, I'm inserting the one at book, so what's going to do is going to do the will get command. We'll get http www.salemdeeds.com historic 0001 uh, 0001/0001.tip. And then when it gets up to 9, it'll stop there and I set a second variable for page because this is an unusual format and I wasn't going to do anything fancy to get this thing to work. So um, I have still have the same book variable there and now when this page 1 I've set at 9 is less than 99 so add the first number, the first one will be 10 right here and then it will go all the way up to 99 and download all the so it will be 0099 because the page numbers on this uh, page is always four digits as you can see here. This is the link I've copied by right clicking on one of these images. I copied the link location and then I went over to here and to like notepad, well the notepad equivalent for Linux and I pasted it here and the only thing you don't want to have confuse you is that percentage 5c. Now, now there's a lot of different places on the net that have different archives of historical records that are that they're used for, gene for genealogical, genealogical purposes and you're not going to want to spend your entire day just looking through a bunch of stuff when you can easily download it and have it in your hands and move around a lot quicker than waiting for your web page to render or for your download to actually work. Okay so here I am again. So I've got this and I've basically got three steps I've got, and I know it goes up to page 750 from previous experience, at least on book number four. But anyway, I'll just show you how this works. So what I've done for the syntax of a bash script, you have to have a pound, a one, I know, sorry, a pound of bin bash, page zero. You set your variables, and then you do your while. It has to be exactly